بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس ان دا پاسٹ فیو سیشنز وی بین ڈوئنگ ایکٹیویٹیز وی بین ڈوئنگ ایکسرسائزز اینڈ وی آلسو ڈیڈ ون کے اسٹڈی آل آف اٹ دا فیڈ بیک وچ آئی ایم گیٹنگ از دیٹ ایوری ون تھنگس دیٹ دیز ویری انٹریکٹو سیشنز ان وچ یو آر ایکٹیولی پارٹیسپیٹنگ اینڈ اپلائنگ یور مائنڈ اینڈ کمنگ آؤٹ ود ڈفرنٹ آنسرز اینڈ آلسو مینی ایشوز فار ڈائلاگ دس از بین ویری بینیفیشل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ لیڈرشپ ethical leadership and corporate governance. Well, today's uh, case studies topic is uh, staying neutral or not. And that is, uh, again, something which uh, many of us face in our lives that should we stay neutral to a particular issue or should we be taking sides or giving our own expert input uh, within it. Now, when we uh, look at this particular case study, uh, you are the CEO of a large online platform that allows company to company business transactions. Uh, at a leadership summit, uh, the CEO of another video game company approaches you to express his concern over discovering uh, a bootleg version of a video game his company had begun to produce on your platform. So basically, you have a platform. The CEO of a sports company, uh, of a video company, basically has developed uh, a new video uh, which is being launched on your platform. And therefore, uh, he was getting into a very constructive discussion uh, with you Uh, regarding that particular launch. Uh, now, uh, what we see is, is that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, his company stopped the production uh, of the game after receiving uh, too much criticism about how violent the game is. So, again, uh, this was a very violence-prone uh, uh, video, but uh, this company had to stop its production uh, because of the negative feedback basically emerging. Uh, he asked if you would consider taking down the game not only because it is a bootleg version, but also because it is violent. Previously, you had never evaluated the products sold on your platform since your company is protected under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So again, uh, you've never done that before, but he's pressurizing and uh, putting uh, the onus on you that if you could extricate uh, that, particular, uh, that particular game and then take it off the platform, so it would basically end all the criticism taking place and all the flag which is basically being taken by this particular company. Uh, DMCA states that on an online platform uh, like the one that we have cannot be held liable for selling any particular product so long as the company does not selectively uh, police its site. So what uh, the DMCA is basically asking for is that there has to be a fair policy or a fair rules and regulations uh, which are applicable to everyone so that there is no favoritism at all. Uh, if you're company were to remove this product from the platform under the DMCA, you would review all products being sold. This would require the hiring of a new team along with the added risk of significantly reduced transactions on your own platform. So uh, again, what we see is, is that the uh, company wants to uh, basically protect itself and ensure uh, that in the case of a uh, management audit, uh, everything does not tend to crumble down and they are still able to function uh, in a better way. Now, Uh, if you stay neutral and let the product stay, you would risk criticism from the public for, for allowing the sale of such a violent game. So what we are seeing again is, is that if uh, you remain neutral, then again, uh, there would be a backlash uh, from the government and the public. So that also has to be weighed in. The most important thing is uh, that I would like you to discuss the decision they have made if they were in a leader's position and the reasons for that particular decision. And secondly, uh, how do you think that this case would be applicable in Pakistan and what would be the consequences. So these are uh, two major questions for food of thought. And I would like you to brainstorm with your friends, look up the internet, also see the different books and see how you can contribute towards uh, a world class presentation uh, later on after you have been able to assimilate all the different factors and also read the different laws and also the different models and then chalking out a better way forward, uh, which would Uh, basically lead to a win-win situation for everyone. Thank you so much.